what's going on boys and girls it's tom and it's jamie welcome to the chronicles of podcast the chronicle of 2003 2023 And like then my and Frank stayed to like a foot log bridge. So I was like, like, where do I hold it? I know. Like, <laughs> 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 it was so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about that one? <laughs> How are you, Bex? Are you well? I'm good. How are you? Oh, Wait, what do you need? I'm Tom, by the way. And I'm Jamie. Tom and Jamie. Sorry, forgive us. It's, it's been a long day and it's very hot. There's a ginger. It's not the one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But I'm burning up like mad. Nah, and so, your hair yet? yeah, <laughs> I'll be a puddle on the floor, so <laughs> just melted completely. Just got where's he gone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I suppose a weird kid show wasn't there, where the girl could like mold herself into like weird puddle and came back to life again. No, and uh, they could go under the doors. Yes, go into puddles, go under. Yes. The yeah, 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 you know, I it's don't remember this. Like, what is this? <laughs> you missed out so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thing is, I'm the one with kids between us, and I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's this is when we were kids. And when we were kids. Shell the childhood, mate. Shell the child. I was Cartoon Network kid, unless it was on there. Could be watching. Harry, I do, yeah. Yeah. I just vaguely remember it. That's all I remember. I don't remember anything else, man. It's just that. I remember as well. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, that's strange. When I get Wi Fi, I'll Google that. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. One of us will play during this weekend, but if we're going to run at each other, shaving a kid's TV. <laughs> <laughs> how was your, your 2000 trees been so far? Great. Yeah. So good. 2000 trees is the best place to be. It's the place to be. Like, you've got like the nature, like you've got your Aaron Free, you've got her kisses, you've got drinks, we've got good people. No, she can't read really the at all. Why would you no. not Exactly. It's a shame we have to leave. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe we just shouldn't. Oh, you just stay here for us. Stay. Yeah. Should we just, should we just sit? Maybe we we'll actually count the trees if they actually are 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the next year counting. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for living last year. That was good, guys. We had to count the trees. We had to make sure. <laughs> new tree was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Now that's done over again. <laughs> You've got to rename. It's actually 1,999 trees. I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> You've lied to us this entire time. <laughs> Um, how was the set yesterday? It was great. It was really good. It was such a big stage. And you know what? A big crowd, and it wasn't expecting a big crowd. And like three o'clock, like, what sort of that art press? Now it was a nice little wash. There was a big crowd. Insane, was massive. And I have, I was like, so this is so anxious and fun. Yeah. So when I got on stage, I was like, woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! No, I mean, none of it happened. Oh, it was good. It was fun. I'm doing it. I'm so pleased. That's absolutely man. It's always nice as well when you're trying and go. Oh, I'm on a second. What the fuck? What's up with this? Great people. I'm actually having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're two songs. I'm like, oh, you're going to play them quick. You want me to play more? <laughs> Um, but obviously because you're here, I knew you were here for the whole weekend. Yeah. Yeah, is there anybody else who's been wanting to check out? Anyone of you have enjoyed? So many people. We saw Panapora this morning. That's a lot of scenes today, I don't know. So, I'm, I have no clue what's on. I haven't looked my phone, so I'm just going to go out. I think they're like 5 o'clock or 3, so I'm just going to like go out. So run around. I really want to find new bands. Yep. I've felt a lot of bands with the lineup that I've seen. Oh, well, no. So I really want to find like some new bands that I've never seen. So I love seeing bands I know, but like, some something nice about experience. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And a festival like this is perfect as well because there's so many stages and so many different types of music playing. It's yeah. perfect. There's so many options, and like you can't go anywhere without like another band playing. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to meet people and like see new bands. Oh, it's my like goal for the weekend. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. So we, we love talking to people at festivals like this because like as you just said, there's so many different types of people, so many different types of bands, and it's this great like family feel. 
Like the amount of people just said, like, we've never met you before. You just sat here. We just had a laugh talking about a phantom <laughs> kids program. We can't even do that. A Canton trees. You know, and when you see that, as you look around, people walking in and say, hey, I've never been before. Let's have a beer. You know, it's, but as an artist, when you're on stage, do you feel that looking out of the crowd, seeing everyone together, just getting into your music? Or do you feel that like family feel in a yeah. place like this? It's such a community. Like, Two Pairs for Trees is the best, like, festival for communities. Like, you can literally just walk in here. And you won't know anyone, but you're never going to sit on your own. We yeah. never sat. Like, the silent disco. I'm just stood there singing to people I have no clue who they are. <laughs> I'm like, you can't even hear me. <laughs> We're just there, just like... <laughs> For like an hour. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I love it. But yeah, you do feel it on stage. That's... You see it. You see, you see people, like, pretending they know the words. They're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me at most gigs, to be fair. I'm like, I know this song. Shit, I forgot the words. Oh, they know, like, one <laughs> random word. So, like, yeah, yeah. down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always down. Down or down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the two words. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all singing. Oh, it's... Wait, I, I feel like these festivals are so important. Like, as a show, we're ambassadors for the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Do you know about Sophie and her story at all? I do, Carl. It's off really. It really is. And so like, when I saw you, I was like, do you know what? She resembles Sophie quite a lot. You really made me, reminded me of Sophie when I first saw you. It's like, so I think these festivals are so important because it gives people that chance to just get away to be themselves. Yeah. You know, they don't have to worry about people shouting shit at them or looking over their shoulder. They could just relax and be themselves. Yeah. Do you, do you feel that being like a young person in this community? Yeah, so when I'm here, like, Every two seconds, son. I love your outfit. I love your outfit. Like, and then when you're in the streets, it's like, what is that? Have you seen that? Like, and people like bark at you and they're like shouting at you and they're like cornering you in the tube and you're just like, leave me alone. I'm just wearing clothes. Like, so, and then when you come here, you can literally wear your most extreme outfit and no one cares. Like, even if you're not performing, like, no one cares. And like, the whole, like, everything that happened to Sophie is just, like, horrendous. I mean, I was only real five at the time, so I was still being dressed by my mum. But, like, it's really scary to think that things like that happen as yeah, well. It really did. Like, just literally wearing what you feel comfortable with, and then you get murdered it's, for it. It's almost like people don't like what they don't understand. Like, because, yeah, like, all, all moments, maybe it's like a jealousy thing. Yeah. Like, our show's great, I'm going to rip into it for ages. Like, why? What? It's not affecting them in any way. Why Why is it necessary? Why is it needed? It's not. So fuck off. It's, it's with everything as well. Like, you find bands that um, get super popular really quickly sound exactly like another band. Four. So, like, it's it's like what people are familiar to, they gravitate towards. Yeah. So if they see someone dread, so what are they? and it's not even right, but, but you know, like, they're expressing themselves, then they're like, what is that? We've never seen that before, we don't want it. And when it shouldn't be like... No, it It's like, and it's... Sometimes you find it's got a bit of a judgment for it, eventually find their own style as well. Like, I have a little bit of hope that not everyone's evil, you know what I mean? The fact that, you know, you just said that you've been cornered in the corner of tubes and stuff like that, and then to turn around and say, I have hope that these people will learn and they'll change and stuff like that. That is phenomenal mindset to go into with. I, I love that so much because like you say, at the end of the day, these people, I, they, they probably just don't understand. But I, it's things like the Sofa Foundation, you know, we need to raise that awareness. We need to make people understand. I mean, you summed it up perfectly there. You went to leave me alone. I'm just wearing clothes. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it's a pair of fucker. It's a pair of trousers at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's a, they're <laughs> like, got a chain on them or a safety pin or a patch or their tie and like, it's still clothes. Yeah. Like, it's still different. And like, I get it. Like, if you were, oh, I, I, everyone should be naked, in my opinion. But I understand people have different opinions on that. That's pretty, like, it's not it's pretty controversial to say everyone should be naked. But it's not like I'm walking around naked. I, I'm still fully dressed. And like, you still have a problem with it. Well, the, it's just like crazy that people are saying like, Tunnel mission. Which yeah. one do you want? Do you want me clothes in all? Yeah. Like, but, and you want, no, if I set my clothes off, you can say the exact same plan. You can say, yeah. But those clothes you took off, I didn't like, put them back on, please. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and it's also like sometimes, uh, I bet there's cases of people who are like, 
their older sister is alternative and they can't afford new clothes. So that's all they're getting, just hand-me-downs. So they have no other choice. And then why should that, like maybe they don't even want to dress like that, but they have to so they can have access to you and then they get abuse for that as well. Like, you have no clue what anyone's backstory is. Nope. I did never inform you that. It's, yeah, that is, that is crazy. That's, and you know, it's, it's horrible that it's still happening now. We had a, girl, a young girl coming to the tent yesterday, the sofa tent yesterday, telling her story out. She was pushed over and called names and kicked by like saying, stupid emo and this stuff, stay shout at her one up. And this was like last week or the week before. You know, it's still happening today and that's why the foundation works so important. So, you know, if we need to stay out here and feel those same things, it's amazing to hear. And it's why places like this are so important. It is super important. The Safety Foundation is like awesome though. It's, it's horrible how it came about, but like it's such like set download and like they even have the the stage as well. So cool. Like it it goes to show that like some something like good could come out of the tragedy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But you've got quite a few festival shows coming up. Are, I you, do. are you excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love performing. Like all I want to do is put a ball. And I love festivals. I love these. Like, if I could live at a festival, I would. I would just stay here. <laughs> we've established this. We've, we've planned it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would stay here. Like, any festival, I just want to stay. Like, we went to download, and I was just like, I don't want to go home. You know, everyone's like, I feel gross. I, I'm ready to go for a shower, and I'm just like, I don't want to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. That makes so much fun. <laughs> Bring the showers here. It's fun. <laughs> I don't need a shower. <laughs> we'll come we'll come on next year. Bex? Yes. I'm still here. <laughs> still here. I believe I'm playing Saturday. <laughs> Have they put me on the lineup yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they've been trying to contact you. You were in a field. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's only 1800 trees. <laughs> Did you know? I've counted them twice to be sure. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> good. Your latest, I know. Um, your latest single "Don't Date the Devil" came out last month. Has that been well received and people enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. This year, I don't know what happened. I mean, I have a pretty great team this year as well, but that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I've got a really good team. <laughs> and yeah, they're just like. Every song I release has just done better than a lot of all of the things, which is all you never asked for. Like, yeah. music isn't about the numbers, but like seeing the numbers sees how many people have seen the message, which is what we're there for. So I'm not counting the numbers, I'm counting the people who hide the numbers. Well, so stay. So wise. I love that. That's great. <laughs> I love that. It's brilliant. But you have released quite a few singles now. Is there an album on the way, or are you happy just going down the single route? There's an EP. Only in October. What have you put it? And then the tour. When is that? I've never had lines. First headlines tour. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a that bit. Let's get some beerian. Let's see what we got. Halloween. We drop us away. Have some decapitated bodies. Like some blue gowns. We have some like real activities. What should we? Oh, why so so late? It's like a day of my life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. If you're anywhere near Birmingham, you just sold a ticket because that sounds incredible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> at least I know you'll be there. Yeah, no, you've got at least one. <laughs> I'll bring the wife to make sure. There's a list too. All right, here you go. <laughs> bring the kids? Yeah, why not if they're related? <laughs> I'll get some colouring books. Should be well. Oh, that. Should do. You know what? I was going to do that for a merch either. But then I thought people might laugh at me. But it's a clever idea because no one else does it. Exactly, and I love like colouring birds. That's so far. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I would just fuck okay, you, cast what other people think. Stick on the big C D here. Yeah. And colour colouring bird with the off bed. So I thought such a good idea. Unless you match the colouring book to one of the songs or something and they can go to it. Maybe that's yeah. an idea. maybe that's an idea. Yeah, I'm still in that. Yeah, no, it's yours. Have it, please. <laughs> you. I mean I'm not gonna I've got all I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I'm gonna make a song under the name <laughs> and uh shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just for the colouring. Yeah, just for the colouring of bucket. Yeah, do it. That'd be amazing. That'd be such a great idea. Cool. Yeah. I just love the fact as soon as you said that, as you looked off to a team, she's like, fucking, are you hearing this? Yeah. You got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Oh, uh, yeah. 
But oh. Bex has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sitting and chatting to us today. Oh, you're very, very welcome. So we'd always, we'd always have you on, no problem at all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I wish you all the best. The best for shows coming up. Thank and you. obviously, October. Yes. Yes, we'll see you in October because, yeah. It's going to be huge. Yeah. It is. It's Bex. Bex month. The month of Bex. Bex. Bex Tober. City. <laughs> That's the one. Bex Tober Fest. Yeah. 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 Bex Fest. Yeah. Oh, there you go. On to an absolute winner. Oh. My dad's 50th. We, uh, we made him a day like that. Held. The two. In the garden. That's amazing. <laughs> and we got like a load of like a session of the bar. And we did buy like, to like come and play in our garden. That's so cool. <laughs> you know, the festivals always go, hey, you yeah. die. Why don't they give us chairs? Have you got the booze? Yes. Have you got the, have you got the food? Yes. Have you got the barbecue? Yes. Have you got the hay? The what? The hay. The, the hay. most important thing. <laughs> the most important item here. Why is it not here? It makes it a festival. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the garden, like, yeah, 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 good day. And of course, the festival. Where's the hay? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a festival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to your legend. Thank you so much. Thank you for so, 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 so